Hi. Hi, gallery. Oh, look at that hamon back there. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I wanted to have like this space to like be able to put everything in. You guys are in a good place through this apocalypse. I'll give you that much. And I totally forgot I had the hamon. I found it like last week. And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> What do I need? I have my Ziplocs, I have my, my measuring cap, I have my yeah. on and my fat. Woo! Oh, you know, classically, you know, any uh, sort of fat wash, you're always kind of rendering the meat down to a liquid and then mm -hmm. letting it infuse with the liquor and then putting it in the fridge and then when it solidifies, you remove it. Um, but hamon is, you know, hamon is very pungent stuff, you know. It would get way too astringent if you did it that way. We've done it that way. You know, we've rendered down drippings. We've rendered down a chunk of fat, you know. So then what do we do? We're going to use the full fat, like no, without. Yeah, we're, we're going to use the fat and the meat and sort of just massage it in there just to get the flavor. Mm -hmm. Almost as if we're taking a muddling approach as opposed to an infusion approach, you know. Okay, great. So how many pieces do I put off uh, of the meat? I would say do a piece of fat and a piece of meat for each ounce of liquor. Okay, great. And we mix the, the fat and the and the jamon at the same time? Yeah, I would do both because uh, the meat has the flavor, but the oils from the fat, which is, you know, which is why we don't want to melt it down and leave it overnight or anything. I, I think just a few minutes of massaging it and it'll have a nice flavor. Awesome, okay, so I'll do... Oh, what do you got, six ounces over there, eight ounces? Eight ounces. Eight ounces. Nice. <laughs> nice measuring eye. Okay. Yeah, I think what you're looking for with hamon is just sort of the essence of it. You know, mm -hmm. you're almost flavoring the hamon more than you're flavoring the liquor, yeah. I feel like. So I have my, my hamon, my fat, and the uh, brandy here. And then what do I do with this? Now I'd say get your fingers on the bottom of the Ziploc uh -huh. and, just, and just massage all the meat in the liquor. You know what I mean? Okay. Like you can probably, um, you can probably lay it down a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, have the top of the bag on your plate sealed. Mm -hmm. And then you can just kind of like, almost like you knead in dough, just kind of do a little mm -hmm. finger massage, a little hamon finger massage. I see, I see. All right. Like you, you just want to tickle the hamon. Okay. I don't want to like crush it. It's more like just. Oh yeah. Give it a little press, put a little pressure in there, you know, <laughs> get all the different fingers going. This isn't, this isn't patty cake. <laughs> you want to get in there with the fingers. You know, we're tickling. We're tickling. All right, all right. <laughs> you see, when you look at the hamon, can you see, like, the, the, the sort of fats on the surface at all, kind of shiny? It's like, oh. in the, it's in the back for sure. Oh, uh, yeah, that's the stuff. Yes, I definitely see it in the back. Um, it's a little cloudy to see on the liquid. Oh, yeah, no, I do see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The liquid has all it. All right, so we're, so we're getting flavor on there, mm -hmm. you know. Might not hurt to straw taste it right now. Okay. Mm. Actually, it's really good. And you know what? The one that I did at Aspen, I think I left it for too long, and it didn't taste really good. This tastes really, really well. That's good. that's what I mean. That is that astringent. That's why we don't want to do the 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 fat wash with it because mm -hmm. that oil is too much. You know, when you're eating hamon, you're eating it with cheese and bread. You're drinking sherry with it. You know. Yeah. You, you all the, all like those things cut down on that that tannin that builds up in the throat that can be almost uncomfortable if you're just eating like a ton of fatty, you know, cheap dripping edges, you know, on your own without anything else, you know. I if, think that's, if that's got a nice flavor, I would stop it right there. Yeah. And then, you know, we could probably just use that hamon a second time for the tenure. A little bit, you know, I don't wanna overdo it. Yeah, if you overdo it, you're just gonna get that oily, you know, texture which yeah. isn't really what you want from that i guess what you want from this is sort of just a like a meaty complexity you mm -hmm. know what i mean yeah i can definitely taste it also on the texture it's getting like i don't know a little bit more oily but in a good way yeah careful um, there's a thin line there because once it passes the balance mm -hmm. you know just like with anything you're cooking like tomato sauce when i rendered a meat in my tomato sauce it's acidic, 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 and when enough meat has rendered into the sauce, immediately it hits that line where it then softens and sweetens and balances it out, you know, the acidity in the tomato. I see. So. No, it's perfect now.
Hmm. I'm gonna make a drink with this now. <laughs> oh, do it. What are you making? Um, I really want to feel the taste of it. So I'm thinking uh, an old fashioned, no? Would be the best, or what do you think? Yeah, I mean, you could do like almost a Manhattan type of deal too, because I feel like the vermouth with the herbal and the sweetness would really help there. Yeah, that would be really good, actually. You know, one on the, maybe on the rocks, you know, so it stays a little more mixed up. Yeah. To getting too much fat on top. Honestly, this could totally be just on the rocks. It tastes really, really good um, because it already has, you know, like the orangey, like cinnamon. Yeah chocolatey um, notes of the brandy and the jamon. It's just, it, that's more like just salty and, and meatiness. Chocolate, orange, meat, jamon. <laughs> this, is, this is a lot for me to handle right now, dry. <laughs> I, you know, I'm like, I'm almost biting my nails right now. <laughs> you will get yours, you will get yours. Okay, great, awesome. Thank this you, so much. I'll do the Manhattan that you recommended. I'll put it on the rocks too. I'll try it in and see. Um, All right, so head. the real question is, yes. how are you guys staying in shape with that leg of hamon right now? <laughs> we just opened it today, so you will, if we did- That leg alone is enough to uh, offset any exercise you do. <laughs> if, if, we do if we do this video in two weeks from now, I'll be more like, my chicks are gonna be here. <laughs> Thank you, Leo, for helping me make my dream come true of making a jamon brandy fat wash. Um, thank you for joining me and teaching us how to do this. I, um, thanks for having me. You know, it has all the elements dreams are made of. So, <laughs> you know, slice your jamon thin and fill your brandy tall. Exactly. Salud. Salud. <laughs>